Um, well, all right. <laughs> Um, no, first and foremost, I just want to thank uh, everybody for joining us this afternoon. Wonderful uh, afternoon here in Oklahoma City. Uh, and an incredibly exciting day for our organization. A uh, chance to welcome both Mitch and Josh and their families uh, to the Thunder organization, as well as the city of Oklahoma City and the state of Oklahoma. Uh, it's, a, it's a great day for us. Uh, before I get started talking about uh, these two individuals uh, sitting next to me, I just want to also note that uh, late last night we were able to acquire uh, Samaj A. Christian in the late second round. Uh, he's unable to join us this afternoon. He's going to be made available to the media uh, uh, in a couple days when we begin summer league practice and you'll have a chance to meet him and we're excited about adding him to the organization as well. <clears throat> uh, in respect to, to the guys, uh, to my right here, Mitch and Josh. A um, couple things. Uh, it's great when you bring people into the organization, you can kind of talk about their qualities in, in some at the same time. Uh, with these two individuals, uh, we feel like we're getting two people and players with tremendous competitive will that are selfless basketball players, are players that understand their contributions to winning and have had experience uh, impacting winning, uh, and they're guys that we feel like fit our organization uh, with the way they approach the game and the way they go about their business. So we're incredibly thrilled to have these types of competitors uh, and these types of people in, uh, in Oklahoma City Thunder uniforms. Uh, Mitch is a guy that uh, we follow for quite some time. He brings tremendous energy, passion, plays with a great basketball IQ, uh, and he brings, a, he brings a toughness that we value. Uh, Josh is a guy that um, from the time we started watching him, uh, we were really impressed not only with his athleticism and his versatility, but he's got a tremendous poise and focus to him that allows him to play the game in a very, very high level while applying his athleticism and, and his length and his, and his size. So these guys in combination are uh, what we feel like um, add up to make us better than we were the day before and uh, we're thrilled to have them. So I'd like to uh, welcome these guys to the Thunder. How's everybody doing? Uh, first off, I just want to thank everybody for coming out this afternoon. Uh, it's an exciting day for Josh and I both, and uh, Samaje as well, but he's not here. Um, just want to thank everybody. Uh, it's, it's great to be a part of it, such a first-class organization, and uh, you know I'm thrilled to be here. And uh, I can't wait to get started. Um, you know, Kevin Durant already texted me this morning saying, you know, I can't, can't wait to get to work. So you know, I know these guys are eager to uh, get us in the gym and get ready to, uh, you know, be in another NBA contender next year. So, uh, you know, thunder up. Uh, yeah, um, just to reiterate what Mitch said, you know, it's an absolute honor to be here, to be part of this organization. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. And I know I speak for, for Mitch too when I say, you know, we are honored to have a, the opportunity to fulfill our dream play for the Thunder and uh, do all that we can to help, team, uh, help the team win. So really looking forward to getting started. Uh, this question is for both of you. Uh, I'm sure you watched uh, Kevin Durant's MVP speech and everything that he said about his teammates. What does it mean to each of you to be teammates with a guy who respects his teammates that much? Um, I mean, to me, it's absolutely incredible. You know, like Mitch said, uh, you know, Kevin reached out to him and he reached out to me too. And for someone like Kevin Durant, you know, top scorer in the world to reach out to, to us, you know, guys that have just joined the organization says something about his character and, you know, his vision of who the team can be. Um, 
you know, he, he values team, uh, you know, teamwork very highly, and you know, I really want to be a part of an organization like that. And I'm very honored that someone such as himself would reach out to us and show that from top to bottom, you know, best player to guys that have just joined the team, we're all one. And you know, I'm really looking forward to being able to play with everybody. Uh, for me, um, you know, I'm. I, I like to think of myself as a pretty good teammate. To see Kevin Durant reach out to each and every one of his teammates like that in his speech, and uh, you know, it was very heartfelt. And for a guy who receiving the most valuable player award, to do that, to you know, talk highly about every, each and every one of his teammates shows a lot of character about him. Uh, Michael Kenny, Norman Transcript, Ken, Mitch, and Josh, can you just both talk about what was it like when you heard your names called and, and knew that you're going to be part of the Thunder? You got it. Um, well, I was back in uh, Chesterton, Indiana, uh, with about 40, 40 some people in my garage with my family, and um, basically it was just. It's so hectic when it, my name was called. Everybody was screaming. I didn't. I didn't know what to think. Uh, first thing I did was turn around and hug my best friend. So you know, it's uh, it's just an amazing feeling um, being a part of this organization, hearing your name called, and realizing your dreams are coming true. Um, you know, it was the same thing. I was at home uh, in Great Falls, Montana, watching it. You know, with a big group of people, people that I care about, and. Just to share that experience with them, it was it was incredible um, to hear my name called and you know feel like my dream is finally you know it's being accomplished. But at the same time, it's just getting started is it's indescribable and uh, it's something I'll never forget. And you know, like Mitch said, I'm really looking forward to to seeing where this will go. Mitch, uh, this question is for you. I'm Randy Renner with NBA.com and InsideThunder.com. How's your back? And do you hope to be able to play in summer league? And are you hampered at all physically with your back? Uh, my back, my back's doing great. Um, just recovering, uh, rehabbing every day, just trying to get better each and every day. Um, it feels great, and uh, you know I can't wait to. I've been back on the court, but yeah, you know, I, I would like to play in the summer league, and uh, I plan to. Troy, last night Sam gave you a lot of credit uh, in terms of keeping track of Josh over the years. What stood out to you in terms of his attributes uh, as a guy that you would want to bring in? Um, he, you know, I guess when the Pistons won a championship, uh, Larry Brown kind of coined the phrase that everybody was going around saying, uh, play the right way. Um, this guy plays the right way. Um, you could just see it. Uh, the games, if they're up 20, they're down 20, he continues to play the right way. Uh, he has incredible concentration during the game. Um, I first saw him really locked in. Uh, he's a sophomore. Um, Stanford, they're playing Syracuse in the garden. Um, and um, I've known his, his college coach since uh, – I was younger, being back from Washington, D.C., and he talked about, you know, this young class he had. Um, but I just, my eyes kept gravitating towards 24 uh, because of the way he played. Um, you could just see the character he has on the floor, uh, concentration, the kind of teammate he is. Um, I just thought it stood out, and it continued to stand out. And um, that's what... Uh, that's what kind of guy we want to bring to the team, to the organization. So it, if you really watch, it's, it's obvious uh, about what kind of player this guy is. Mitch, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you guys, and this really could be for both of you, you uh, watch the Thunder play. What do you think you can bring? And I, you know, getting that rotation is tough from an established team like this, but what can you give the Thunder that maybe they're missing or maybe add to? What do you see yourself uh, bringing to the table? Um, well, I'd like to bring a lot of toughness. Uh, I know this team's tough, but you know everybody needs an extra edge, and I uh, definitely like to bring a lot more energy, even on and off the court. Sitting, uh, being on the bench, uh, you know, I, I'm up on my feet almost every possession. So, you know, whatever it takes for the team to win, I'm gonna try and bring to the table. 
Um, and I just want to be somebody that could come in and be a great teammate. Uh, like Mitch said, I just want to help the team win. Um, and, you know, I feel like I bring a, a blue-collar attitude to the game, you know, the toughness and the hard work. And that's something you can expect from me every single night, and that's something I take pride in. And I'm going to, you know, do that to the best of my ability to help this team win as many games as they can. Josh, whoa, <laughs> jeez. Jo Josh, most mocks had you somewhere in the second round. Were you surprised when it was late first round uh, and your name got called? And did you know you were on the Thunder's radar? Um, you know, going into the whole draft process and when the draft started, I tried not to think about anything in terms of where I was being placed or anything like that. That's out of my control. Um, you know, I just knew that, you know, it was, like I said, it was out of my control. And whatever happened, happened. And uh, when I did hear my name called, I was just so, you know, elated and just so happy the fact that you know the Thunder took the time to say my name and thought highly enough of me and thought that I could come in and help the team win and it was the most amazing feeling and um, you know obviously going into it you know some people saw me at a certain spot but you know it's like I said the draft process is just such a uh, unpredictable thing that I was just gonna not think about it and just see uh, see where I fell. Uh, this question is actually for Sam. Uh, I was looking back at uh, uh, Josh's performance against Kansas mm -hmm. in the NCAA tournament, holding Andrew Wiggins to four points and one for six shooting. Um, when you look at a guy who's, you're already on your radar, and then you see him do something like that, what does that do for making you want to pick up that phone a little earlier? Well, I think, um, again, uh, we never look at just one game or, or or uh, two games. We're looking at the body of work, and um, obviously in those uh, high-pressure games and, and spotlight games, you're you're watching. But I, to to Troy's point, I also think it's really valuable to see players um, maybe in, in situations where the whole world's not watching, uh, and and recognize their ability to 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 stay locked in uh, to you know fulfill their assignments. Um, you know when they're not playing against. The, the the best you know top tier player, and um, that's that's one of the things I was trying to articulate in uh, my opening statement, which was that he's got a poise to him as a competitor that you don't see um, in in young people that often. An ability to stay within plays, uh, recover uh, from mistakes, and not get distracted, um, and you combine that with uh, what we feel like is uh, you know an elite. Uh, package of athleticism and uh, that's the type of player that we want to try to work with and uh, see if we can continue to cultivate inside our organization. This is for uh, Mitch and, and Josh both. So many guys sometimes it seems like they're they're all fired up about the offensive end looking for the highlight real plays. You guys both tend to really get a lot of attention for your defensive abilities. What gave you that mindset to really concentrate uh, and, and want to be a lockdown defender? Um, <clears throat> like I said, I take pride. I try to take pride in being a blue collar guy and doing the dirty work. And, you know, like you said, a lot of people focus on the highlight plays and things of that nature. And, you know, those help win, but I'm a big believer in, you know, this is the old saying defense wins championships. And defense isn't something that everybody wants to do all the time because it's hard. You have to make a conscious effort to go out there and do it, and it's not, you know, it's not something that is always enjoyable, but it's something that helps teams win. And I take great pride in that because it's something that I'm good at and I've been blessed enough to be good at, and you know, a lot of teams value that. And I think that you know, I can bring a lot of that to the Thunder and help them win as many games as I can. Uh, for me, um, you know, everybody likes playing offense, but to get on offense, you've got to play defense. And, uh, you know, whether it's taking charges, um, you know, grabbing rebounds, something I, I really like doing. And just whatever it is to get the team the possession and to go on offense and try to score, um, you know, that's something I like doing. Mitch, uh, you had to sit and watch a lot of basketball this year. Can you explain how frustrating that was, or I, I assume it was, and just what was going through your mind this past year? Yeah, um, so I had back surgery and I had to sit out a while. So 
It was difficult for me to um, sit on the sidelines, especially during the NCAA run when uh, previous year our team made it to the, the final game. Yeah, but, you know, um, really made me sit back and uh, not take things for granted because basketball could be taken away from me just like that. So, um, you know, I looked at it as uh, motivation to try to stay optimistic and to encourage my teammates in whatever way I could, whether it was on the bench, cheering for them, giving them a few pointers, coaching them up. And, uh, you know, I just really took the initiative to help out my teammates when, uh, when I wasn't out there. I would, I would just say one thing to, to add on to that. I said it last night, but <clears throat> the time that we were having the press conference, it was so late. I think most people in here probably were asleep. Um, but, uh, you know, it's funny when Mitch talks about, you know, being on the sidelines, not being able to participate uh, during this, this past season. Um, we had, when we go back and we read all our information and we interpret all of our scouting reports, and we, had a, we spent a lot of time, you know, watching Michigan this year. And um, we had a lot of reports on him, even though he wasn't necessarily playing in those games, but just watching uh, how he dealt with the adversity, uh, how he dealt with uh, his teammates, um, and being there before games, I'd see him um, rebounding the ball for guys, uh, you know, keeping people up when, when you know, they were losing leads. And um, I think you can learn a lot about people in those situations. So while we, you know, while we, we go and we watch the plays, we also watch what's happening, you know, around the game. And um, that's what I think makes a great intangible player, uh, someone that can impact his team uh, in this case, uh, you know, just not even being in uniform, but with his spirit, his energy, uh, and you can tell when that stuff's sincere, because not a lot of people can do it consistently. And uh, he was very consistent with that, sincere with that, and I mean, he wouldn't be sitting here, quite honestly, if he handled it any different. So uh, those are the types of people that we want to we want to continue to layer into our program, into our organization. Um, you can never have enough people like these two guys. And uh, when we see that, we, uh, we value it highly, maybe more highly than other people. Um, but we like to think that's a competitive advantage for us. All right, well, we have a special guest now, Josh Hustis, who is coming from Stanford and now has been drafted by the Oklahoma City Thunder. Of course, I know the last 24 hours has been a whirlwind for you, but let's start at the beginning. When your name was called and you knew you were coming here, what were your initial thoughts? Oh, it was incredible. Um, it was an indescribable feeling, you know, just to know that something I've worked towards my entire life has finally come true and I had an opportunity to play for such a great organization and, you know, a team so accustomed to winning and the fact that I have a chance to help them, you know, win a championship is is just amazing. So when you hear about the Thunder and you know obviously the players that have played here but also the organization what were just your thoughts overall they talk so much about character and what they're looking for in players what were your thoughts on the Thunder? You know I think that's great um, you know people mostly just see what happens on the court they don't see what happens behind the closed doors you know in practices and then in locker rooms and what makes winning teams is you know teamwork and teamwork and teammates um, and just the fact that they place such a you know high value on who people are as people uh, is huge. And I really, I'm really looking forward to meeting the rest of the players and becoming fast friends and you know getting to work. You seem so calm, but I know the last <laughs> 24 hours has had to have been a whirlwind for you. Talk about just the emotion and and what the last few hours have been like getting here to Oklahoma City. Oh, it's been like you said a whirlwind. Um, yeah, I'm trying to maintain a calm, a calm <laughs> air about myself. But you know, trust me, right now I'm just going absolutely crazy inside uh, you know it's just been this amazing feeling and so so you know indescribable and something that I'm gonna remember forever and you know I hope uh, you know and I know I'll feel this way for a long time just to you know to be able to play for such a great team Well, everybody knows you played at Stanford four years obviously fans out there are getting acquainted with you and your game you're a lockdown defender tell us a little bit though about your game and what you pride yourself in uh, I pride myself in being a blue collar tough player. Um, I go out there and I do dirty work uh, the entire game. You know, you can expect the same thing from me day in and day, day out. Uh, I go in there and I'm going to defend and I'm going to rebound. I'm going to do all I can to help a team win. Um, and you know, I'm still developing in terms of the offensive game. You know, I'm going to continue to work on that. But right now, I, I'm just looking forward to being somebody that can step in and you know do all the little things to help a team win. It already seems like you're a great fit. You talk about priding yourself on defense and you like in to come in and do the dirty work. 
when you look at the Thunder organization and how they've developed players and that they pride themselves on those same things, do you feel like this is a good fit for you? Absolutely. You know, I, I really have a lot of respect for the Thunder just because of the fact that, you know, they bring in all these these young guys and they develop them into, the, you know, the top players in the entire world. And just to be a part of that is absolutely incredible. And I'm really looking forward to being able to develop with them. Did you have to pinch yourself when you got a text from Kevin Durant this morning? That was crazy. Uh, you know, it was just it was just this amazing feeling because knowing that he took the time out of his day to reach out to me, somebody who he's never met and, you know, just a rookie in this league now. And he's, you know, you know, one of the top players in the world, best scorer. And it's just amazing. It just kind of shows the character that he has and the character that this team is made up of. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you have a very unique story. You yeah. got reacquainted with your brother. Can you kind of just give us a synopsis of what that has been like over the last couple of years? It's been great. Like you said, it's a great story. Um, for those of you that don't know, that may be watching this, yeah, born in Texas, adopted, grew up in Montana, uh, huge family, but I know, you know, my entire family on both sides, birth parents and everything, uh, you know, I'm just somebody that's very humble, like, you know, I just want to be a good person, uh, and I just hope that I can come in and help this team, you know, on and off the court. We look forward to getting to know you over the next couple, several years and seasons to come. Josh, congratulations and welcome to Oklahoma City Thunder. Thank you.